Just one last point I want to make. Sen Senator McCain talked about uh, providing a $5,000 health uh, credit. Uh, now, what he doesn't tell you is that he intends to, for the first time in history, tax health benefits. So you may end up getting a $5,000 tax credit. Here's the only problem. Your employer now has to pay taxes on the health care that you're getting from your employer. And if you end up losing your health care from your employer, you've got to go out on the open market and try to buy it. It is not a good deal for the American people, but it's an example of this notion that the market can always solve everything and that the less regulation we have, the better off we're going to be. Now, I'm not saying that he doesn't care about what people are going through. I just think he doesn't know. <laughs> That's the only reason I can think of that he'd propose a health care plan that is so radical, so out of touch with what you're facing, so out of line with our basic values. Senator McCain's been eager to share some of the details of his plan, but not all of the details. He tells you that he'll give you a tax credit of $2,500 per person, $5,000 per family, to help you pay for your insurance and health care costs. Sounds good, right? But like those ads for prescription drugs, you've got to read the fine print to learn the rest of the story, to find out the side effects. You see, Senator McCain would pay for his plan, in part, by taxing your health care benefits for the first time in history. I, I want everybody to be clear about this. This tax would come out of your paycheck. Now, Senator McCain has a different kind of approach. He says that he's going to give you a $5,000 tax credit. What he doesn't tell you is that he is going to tax your employer-based health care benefits for the first time ever. So what one hand giveth, the other hand taketh away. Now, what we haven't talked about is Senator McCain's plan. He says he's going to give you all a $5,000 tax credit. That sounds pretty good. Uh, and you can go out and buy your own insurance. Here's the problem. Uh, that for about 20 million people, you may find yourself no longer having employer-based health insurance. This is because younger people might be able to get health insurance for 5,000, young and healthy folks. Older folks, less healthy folks, what's going to end up happening is that uh, you're going to be the only ones left in your employer-based system. Your employers won't be able to afford it. And once you're out on your own with this $5,000 credit, uh, Senator McCain, for the first time, is going to be taxing the health care benefits that you have from your employer. And, and this is your plan, John. For the first time in history, you will be taxing people's health care benefits.